YouTube, it's Tracy from Entrepreneur Girl, and today is Tracy's Tuesday Tips, and we are going to be answering your questions on private label. Okay, so there were really multiple things that had happened, different news items that Amazon was coming out with that had everybody all of us and everybody really concerned. Of those things, um, examples would be the first thing we saw was that they had shortened their long-term storage time frame. So you were paying long-term storage fees uh, more frequently because they had shortened the time period. The second thing we saw is when you were using your selling apps and you were scanning for products, there was this new message that was popping up saying that this was a slow moving item. Are you sure you want to list it? Because you might incur long-term storage fees. So you could definitely see where they were trying to, you know, deter you from listing certain products. And, you know, they really wanted to optimize uh, those faster moving items. The third thing we saw was certain sellers were getting emails that were saying you couldn't list certain products anymore. One of those products, as you know, is Legos, which was one of my favorite items to sell. And so for some of us, it was kind of a bummer because we weren't able to, you know, sell the products that we had gotten used to or were already currently selling. And the fourth thing was they changed their ungating policies. They made it more uh, difficult to get ungated and we were already kind of feeling like it was so difficult and so overwhelming to begin with and here they added additional criteria. And of those is they want actual real invoices from manufacturers, which is not an easy thing to obtain for everyone. And also they were charging up to $1,500 per category. Now on a lot of this, um, existing sellers were grandfathered in, which is great, but for new sellers and even for, you know, us older sellers, it was like, what's going on? You definitely got the feeling that Amazon was really changing a bunch of stuff on us in a short period of time. And it just frankly made everybody nervous. And that's why I've been trying to post in our Amazon 360 Facebook group is one, you know, I want to keep you current on any news that is happening out there concerning, you know, eBay or Amazon or e-commerce in general. But two, I'm getting a lot of questions about it. I'm getting a lot of people that are um, asking for coaching services, which I normally do, but I'm getting like all sold out. And I don't know if it's because we're going into fourth quarter, so people are wanting some more support, a little bit more hand-holding, um, or if it's because they're starting to feel nervous and have a lot of questions concerning what's going on with Amazon and how this is going to affect their business and how they can move forward going forward. So I'm not really sure what's going on, but I, I think it's just because people are nervous and they're kind of trying to figure this whole thing out which is why I've been posting things in Amazon 360. And my last post talked about uh, the four things that I was encouraging people in the group to do was number one, go under the files tab that I just showed you and look through the product list. Now this is an all inclusive list because Amazon doesn't put out a list for us to just look at and be like, okay, I can't sell those things. It's, it's people you know, like myself and other sellers that try to share the knowledge so that you can kind of understand what you can sell and what you can't sell. And that way when you're out sourcing in stores, you're not buying incorrect product. You're not getting the wrong stuff and coming home and realizing that you can't sell it. So number one is go ahead and print out that list from our Facebook group and learn it. Number two, we talk about Profit Bandit and different um, scanning apps that I use, <laughs> that I use, or you use. And the Amazon seller app, um, right now, they are the only ones that is chiming that you have a restricted product. Because of these new restrictions, they're warning you that when you scan it under the Amazon 
seller app that you can't sell that item it's restricted and some of the other apps have not caught up to that yet so I'm encouraging everyone even if you're using other apps to go ahead and check it before you buy it with the Amazon seller app just to make sure that you are in the clear on that particular product number three don't freak out I know change is hard it's a bummer um, if you feel like you just learn one set of rules and then the rules change on you and you're having to learn something else I totally get that but I'm seeing people walk away from Amazon which I feel is you're walking away from an opportunity because you just don't quite understand maybe the rules and even you know I don't I'm having to learn about it and research it myself and it just feels overwhelming and so you walk away but the truth is that every company does this uh, you know I just read again that the United States Postal Service is increasing their rates yet again I mean doesn't it just feel like they raise their rates and it's astronomical to ship anymore and you know so you start to be like mad about it and confused by it and it just seems like you know they're constantly spiking the rates but the truth is is that it's business and this happens all the time across the board it's not just Amazon there's still many many products out there that you can sell there's a lot of opportunity with both retail arbitrage and online arbitrage. And the last thing, the fourth thing that I encouraged our group to do was to diversify, which if you're watching this YouTube channel, you know I'm a big advocate of diversifying. I mean, not only do I diversify my income streams with stock trading and e-commerce and social media and my website, but I also diversify within each one of those groups. So like with Amazon, you know, not only am I retail arbitrage and online arbitrage, but you want to branch into other things like wholesale and private label, or maybe there's another niche that you could explore like books that you're currently not selling in, you know, just to kind of grow your base and grow the different ways that you can make money within Amazon. And even though um, the majority of the content here on this YouTube channel is dealing with Amazon, is dealing with retail arbitrage, we have videos on everything. You know, we have a lot of videos on eBay, on website development, on making money through social media, on stock trading, heck, even on dumpster diving. So as you can see, it's my hope to be popping out videos on everything like if there's anything that I can possibly explore that's going to be a revenue stream for you and for me I'm going to do a video about it as part of this continuing journey with private label I'm going to put the link below uh, where it shows the whole series so if you've missed the other videos in the series you can just click on that and they'll all be listed there for you that's the great thing about playlists is it keeps it all in one spot for you and you can just go ahead and look at those videos I've been receiving a lot of questions since I've been putting out those videos which I really appreciate because your questions you know, reflect everyone's questions. We